you to Lieutenant General David Abtula on all of this. Um, General, if it is true, as President Zelensky insists it is, that the Russians are offering to sell wheat that's Ukraine's, in other words, stolen wheat, what does Europe do? Well, um, it's a complex answer, uh, Neil. Clearly, Putin is weaponizing uh, food. And uh, given his unconscionable and egregious crimes against humanity uh, and the kind of barbaric actions of his military that uh, we just heard about, this shouldn't come as a surprise. Um, I, I think that it, it, it's well known now that uh, you know, the EU president has stated that Russia is also hoarding its own food exports right. um, as a form of black blackmail. Uh, so they're they're holding back supplies to increase global prices um, and trading uh, wheat in exchange for political support. With respect to your question on what does Europe do, um, it, it is a way to counter Putin's effort is going to require a, a coordinated international. Uh, 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 effort. And uh, it's where the United Nations could help in assembling a response. But don't hold your breath on that happening. Um, yesterday, Russia's ambassador to the UN stormed out of a Security Council meeting after the EU accused his country of causing a global food crisis. So, uh, very complex here. There's some options where Ukraine could explore the possibility of moving grain by a train to. Other ports, uh, those on the Baltic Sea, which are quite distant, as well as neighboring uh, Romania. But there's still some significant logistical problems that remain. You know, General, we have about a minute left, but I'd be curious. Um, I get the feeling Vladimir Putin uh, is waiting us out, not us waiting him out, that we're going to blink and get agitated before Russia does. What do you think of that strategy, if that's the case? Um, I, I'll be honest with you. I think the resolve of the European nations um, and the United States, and because of the, the, the just heinous crimes and actions of Putin in the military, um, I, I don't think he's going to wait us out. This is why President Zelensky isn't going to give up any territory. He's not going to settle for ceding uh, portions of eastern Ukraine. Uh, Putin's crossed the line. And the community of peace-loving nations, uh, fortunately, I believe, is not going to stand for it. All right. I hope you're right about that, General. Thank you very much. And more, sir, for your incredible service to this country. Lieutenant General David Deptula. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.